Scrooge McDuck. First he had his own comic book, and eventually he had his own TV series, which had its own feature film. All the success led to Scrooge eventually having his own Nintendo game, DuckTales. And it's a great NES game at that, with some of my favorite music on the entire console. But this game did have its share of odd glitches. So just a fair warning, to pull these glitches off, you're gonna have to be smarter than the Smarties and tougher than the Toughies. Let's try them out. Ever wanted to see Scrooge McDuck's head get chopped in half? Yeah, I know you did. Well, all you have to do is go to the Transylvania stage and make it to the minecart. Get yourself half stuck in the cart so that Scrooge is sort of blended in with the cart. Don't go too far though or he'll get in. Now all you have to do is wait for the timer to run out. This one couldn't be easier. Yeah! All that money ain't gonna help if your fucking head is sliced in half, will it Scrooge? For this glitch, make it to the room that has the remote control to call Gizmo Duck. Except just make sure you don't get the key first. Get the gray robot duck guy to come near you, and when he does, be facing right, away from the door. He'll knock you into the wall above. And if you press right again, you'll be able to pass through the wall and be able to get the remote without having the key. But you won't be able to get back out. Curse me, kilts! There's a similar glitch you can do here. This time, you have to turn right as soon as the robot duck hits you, and you'll be darted to the top of the screen. From there, you can pogo jump while tapping right, and get Scrooge into weird parts of the wall he shouldn't be able to go. On the Amazon stage, if you pass by this area, you can jump through a shortcut that takes you to the end boss of this level. In the middle of the shortcut is a pile of stones. If you break them all, leaving the middle one till last, a guy will shoot out of the stone and turn into a white orb. What the fuck's that all about? and you can perform a similar type of glitch in the mines. Again, near the bottom of the level, there'll be a pile of stones. Destroy them all, leaving the middle one until last. Whack it with your cane, and this time a guy flies up into the sky and becomes a floating white orb. I bet Scrooge is pissed. He probably thinks it's a giant pearl. There's a glitch you can do in the Himalayas to get the treasure more than once. After you beat the abominable snowman, he leaves a treasure chest. What you want to do is pogo jump onto it. It'll pop up in the air for a split second. You're gonna want to land and get stuck in the snow at the same time it hits the ground. This is the hardest part of this glitch. If you do it right, the stage won't end. The timer will continue. And just don't do anything and let the timer run out. After it runs out, it'll place you back in the middle of the stage. Now you can head back to the boss and get the treasure all over again. There's a pretty odd trick you can do on the last boss of the game. First, you need to wait until the last 32 seconds before going into the boss battle with Dracula Duck. Next, you have to fight him and hit him every single time. Bouncing off the bats can be a little tough, so I actually recommend just jumping into him, getting hit, then while you're still blinking, get in your hit. It's a way to ensure you'll hit him every time. The last time you hit him, you'll need to hit him at exactly the 3 second mark. When the timer reaches zero, you'll die, and it's supposed to do a cutscene which screws with the game. The stage will restart and the background will be black. You can walk around and depending on what you do, the stage will become totally fucked up! Let's try it again and see what happens. Bless me bagpipes! <laughs>